Hi, this is Matt from Triple Nine. Here's how to tie a Windsor. So here's what it looks like from my perspective. I think it'll be a little bit easier for you guys to follow along. So I keep the narrow end at about the third button, um, but that's just for me personally. You're gonna have to find out um, what's a good length for you. So you start out by crossing the wide end over the narrow end as such and bringing it through the loop and pulling to the left. So it should look like this. And then after that, you cross the wide end back over to the right and pull it up and over the loop, down through the loop. And you should end up with a shape that looks something like this. And then from here, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is cross it over to the left, pull it under the loop and through the loop. And then you put the wide end down through here. Now I like to kind of like hold the knot the way it is so I can keep the uh, bottom of it um, a little bit more narrow. So this is what it should look like. Now when I pull the tie up near the collar, I like to kind of pinch the bottom of it to keep it, give it more of a triangular look. Like this. So here's what the tie looks like from the front. Now all we have to do is complete the look with the tie clip. Now the general rule for wearing a tie clip is placing it between the third and fourth button, including the collar button. Now what you don't want to do is wear the tie clip too high, where it hangs off of the tie, and you also don't want to wear it too low. So this is what it should look like right here. Notice how it's parallel to the ground and it's not tilted or slanted or anything. And when you have it just right, the triple nine tie and the tie club give you the complete look that you want. Um, make sure to check out our other videos for information on how to tie different types of knots. Thank you for watching.